to be designed. And I got Sue behind the camera. <laughs> and we thought we'd do something a little bit different tonight. There have been a bunch of new releases from several different companies. And then we've also put some things on sale. So I thought that we would do a quick little shop tour and then we have our DIY projects. projects. Do you want to show oh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys just so you can see. Look, windows. While she's doing that, I'm going to quickly pull up YouTube on my phone. Well, so you that... should have been prepared. Yeah, but I can't get in until I'm live. So, you know, there's that. There we are. Okay. Turn on my volume. Okay. Now I can make sure that I can see comments when y'all comment. Look, I just saw you pop in. Oh, uh -huh. Okay. So, um, let's actually wander to the back of the store real quick and then we'll work our way forward since there's not many people here yet. So. Get you a little, a little hungry to see what the store's all like. There we go. It's tiny but mighty. Welcome to the shop, everybody. So we are getting ready to do a massive floor change, which, you know, Anna and Heather are always excited about. You know they are. We, we are, we are. So um, in a couple weeks, this is going to look very different, but this is kind of where we are now. If you've been watching us for any length of time, you've probably seen a lot more furniture and decor in the shop. And we kind of sat down uh, about a week ago and analyzed all our sales and realized that DIY is really where it's at in our shop. That's what the customers seem to want. Um, so we're switching everything over. We're going to make the classroom bigger. Uh, people have been asking for classes, so this is kind of where we are. We'll be moving the front desk, but in the meantime, yep. this is our front desk, um, which is really in the back. We've got a uh, storage area back here, and then if you come over this way, All you will this see way. All our DIY. that we have tons of Prima and Dixie Bell transfers. This is all Prima, and I put in like a, a huge, huge order for Prima, so this will be full in about a week. So if there's any that you feel like you need, they will be coming, I promise. And then if you come around this way, you will see this is um, all of our Dixie Bell. Yeah, we got a lot. Got a lot. Oh, look, more papers. These are what, the rice papers? These are rice papers, yep. All right, see. Decoupage papers. Paying attention. So lots of Dixie Bell. Lots of Dixie Bell. Um, and then we've got our uh, DIY paint down here. We so still gotta make colorful. all the sample colors, but you got the idea. I like their powders. They're just standing right up. Yeah, the right out. powders are really pretty. I still haven't had a chance to play with them. Oh, we're going to have to do that. I do have a project if I can ever get to my garage. Someday. Good news. My house closed today. Yay. Yay. So that is one project off my plate. I see people are starting to tune in. So if you're here, say hi. Hi. Oh, you're talking to them. Mm -hmm. um, we've got alcohol ink. <gasps> Alcohol inks are so much fun. Which is so much fun. And then we have our Hocus Pocus and Grace on Design. Uh, we got everything you could think of. We have Prima's mini transfers and more decoupage paper. So much decoupage paper. And then if you come down, we have a Maker Studio. Um, we have the ceramic paints and we have the, um, the Joe Art ink. And we have the chalk art. This is like chalk couture. And all of this is on our website at 50% off right now. Um, since we're doing a big floor move, we're just going to be changing some things around. So if you love these products, if you want to try these products, the ceramic paint is great for, um, it will leave it permanent on any ceramic or glass surface. And the gel ink is perfect for fabric. And then the um, chalk art is like chalk couture where you can wash it off later. I mean, it works really well on the mesh stencils. But they're all 50% off, so like they're only $4.99 for these little tubs. And the gel art is only um, $6.50. And then the ceramic is also $6.50. So really good price points there. Hi, Melissa McCracken, and hello, my love. So you might notice a couple of the DIYs that I've done recently. 
this little shelf. It actually hangs, but I have it kind of propped up on some alcoholing cords um, just to stand. But you, if you saw that last Sunday, that was my release. We've got some new fall things coming in. If you have seen some of my totes, this was actually a class that we did. Hello, hello, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Um, jewelry boxes. I love to do my jewelry boxes. Jewelry boxes are fun. These are fun. Some of our napkin decoupage jars. These sell really, really well. So um, our napkins are, they come in packs of 20 mostly. And I believe they're $6.99 for a pack of 20. And they sell, all these jars sell really, really well. Um, and we have them priced at $14.50 and they really do kind of fly off the shelves. And Janine, we are happy that you are watching this live as well. Hi, Janine. Okay, so we have um, some lovely fashion, all of which is also on vintagebedesign.com, and right now it is buy one, get one free. And we do have plus sizes also. We have um, all our brushes. Klingon brushes are back in stock. Yay! If you have been waiting, I have been. For the S30s and S50s, we have dozens of them. So if you've been waiting, 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 they are on the website and ready to order. And we are happy to get them out to you. So we have S30s, S50s, we have flats and rounds. We stocked up on everything. So we have lots and lots of brushes. Look at them all. There's the zebras down there. The zebras, um, the Dixie Bells. We even got um, a couple Scarlets in. Oh, wow. Those have been hard to come by. Um, some stall masters, which are great, and um, watercolor. And these are the brushes that you see me use all the time when I'm painting um, something a little more, a little smaller. I like these. Oh, those are nice, yeah. And these are nice because they have the texture tools on the other end, so you can create fun textures. Let's see. You might have to do a demo on texture tools. Yes. Um, it, 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 I will, I promise. Just not today. Um, we have general finishes, all 50% off, marked on the website. So if you like general finishes, everything we have in stock is 50% off. Very good. And I didn't know you could boil vintage linens. Boiling vintage linens? Uh -huh. I didn't know that either. Yeah, this, is, this is good to know. I'm starting to come across stuff like that. So this is stuff I need to know. It's good to know. So um, these are so cute. Oh, that is cute. Fringy. See that? Um, Ooh, yeah, that is fringy. So, and these are all buy one, get one free on vintagebedesign.com. And you may recognize this shirt from my profile picture. <laughs> um, buy one, get one free. And they also, we also have it in pink and in gray. And I have all the colors because... That's what you do. Because they're super comfortable. Um, Bungalow 47 also 50% off right now um, which makes these super reasonable so this is 16 ounces that's going to be only 9.95 dang and the eight ounces are only 650 and the quarts are only like 10 bucks or something like that so it's really inexpensive all marked on the website we are going to be discontinuing this line and the general finishes the bungalow is a great paint and so is general finishes we just are bringing in some new DIY products, and when we look at our numbers, we sell less of these. Bungalow is great. It is a chalk and clay-based paint, um, so you kind of get the benefits of both chalk and clay. Um, it's a great line. It, we just don't sell enough of it. Uh, they don't tend to do a lot of brand marketing, and we're kind of a store that's we're in a good location, but um, people just don't know that name here, and without them doing a lot of marketing. Oh, and Elaine's telling you more. I know, I'm reading it. You're reading it. I'm, I'm taking mental note. Okay, good. Oh, did you show them the... I love this what's little... This, this little... Oh, the... The little gnome. Who doesn't love a good gnome with a bee on their hat? And some fall decor. Nice fall. And yes, we've even started breaking out the Christmas decor. Oh my gosh, how did I walk past that 14 times and not pay attention that it was Christmas? And believe it or not, it has been selling like crazy, especially these little trucks. Oh, people love them trucks. These little trucks everybody loves, and they're pretty inexpensive. Which are they? Um, where's the tag? Oh, there it is. $21.99 for this cute little truck. 
Oh, he's a cutie. He's a cutie. Oh, here. It says Merry Christmas on the other side. Oh, very nice. Um, and then we have the Merry Christmas, this um, truck, and it is $9.99 for that. Put a big bow on there. It'd be really pretty for a front door. Well, thanks, Elaine. It does look pretty nice in here. Thank you. And you remember these blocks that I did? Oh, yeah. So we've got the stacks of napkins. Here it looks like we're down to two Santas. Uh oh. So yeah. if you were interested in getting the Santas, we're down to two packs, and we can't get any more. Um, and these Santa packs are only six dollars for uh, twenty, I believe. I don't know where it says, but twenty. I think it's twenty. And each one okay. has four Santas. And has four Santas because it's folded in fourths. Um, so you want to spin over here? So. Um, Sort of simple fall display. Um, some of the furniture that we've got painted. We do have some um, vintage finds, like this cute little vintage quail teapot is only nine ninety nine. Um, this is uh, another little gnome. He's got bouncy legs. You went gnome crazy this year. I bought two gnomes. That's crazy for you because you don't like gnomes. I don't. Yeah, I mean that's I'm not gonna argue. Um, so we still have some of the spring stuff. These are all our Jamie Ray vintage, as well as other brands, our stencils. Wheel of oh, stencils. Uh, we carry the, the Prima Chalk paste and um, 3D fiber paste, which is great for doing 3D Let's do a stencils. flyover. Huh? Doing a flyover. flyover. Ooh. What are all the brushes and the stuff? behind you. What are all the brushes and stuff? Oh, these are all um, wax brushes and stencil brushes. Okay. So we did order more JRV stencil brushes, and they have shipped, but we are we're, we were told they were they were shipped, but we haven't received them yet. Soon. So we still have some Art Basics, which are nice brushes, and we still have two number twenty, the large JRV stencil brushes. We still have two of these. Um, these art basics, we have a, a big one and a little one. These are very cool. These are great for adding texture with the chalk paste or doing raised stencils. These are fun. Okay. Love those. And That's did you your, see what? the big wall behind The stamping me? wall. The big stamping wall. So we have all kinds of fabulous, really fabulous stamps from Prima. Um, they're so fun. I am... Um, Gonna be doing lots of new fun projects with these. We even got them little press things for them. Which I really need to use more. Well, when you line up all your little letters and numbers, you'll do that. Our Jamie Ray, um, Jamie Ray Vintage decoupage papers. We just ordered all the new. Um, we do not carry chalk couture, Melissa. We carry um, a Maker Studio chalk which is um, very, almost exactly like Chalk Couture. And right now it's on sale 50% off. So if you go on our website, vintagebedesign.com and you go under a maker studio or you type in chalk paste uh, or chalk, you should be able to find it. Um, I knew what you meant. Um, and then we also <laughs> carry chalk paste by Prima, which is different. Um, it will still wipe away, but it'll harden and it can be sealed and doesn't smudge. So the Chalk Couture and the Amer a Maker Studio, if you try to use a sealer over it, they'll smudge, so you have to use a spray sealer. The Chalk Paste, you do not have to use a spray sealer. You can use wax or um, top coat. So when you can take them in there. Our tiny room in here. Little tiny room. This is, this is like your own personal dressing space slash uh, shopping space. It's got so everything in all here. of our, all of the clothing and all of the fashion jewelry is on sale. To, uh, buy one, get one free. Whoa. And that'll apply at checkout. What oh, little basks. Ah, fun. And now the front of the store. So now that we're at the front of the store and people are, 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 are regular are tuned in, I will talk about some of, you want to come this way? I can. I can come this way. Oh, we also have Miss Mustard seat against the back wall. Oh, yeah. And Fusion. We do got our Fusion still. Yep. 
And then, so this is our new Prima fall release. Ooh, ooh. And we got so much new in stock. It's unbelievable. These are, these are just the new mulberry papers that we got in. So Which is why she's these, been carrying them around. She's anxious to show you. Yeah. So just kind of let you see a couple of them. These are so pretty. But you can go under our website, and if you go under Prima, and you click Sort New to Old, then you'll see all the new releases. So I'm not going to go through all of them with you, but boo. we have boo. Um, but we do have a lot of great fun ones. We have nine new transfers. Oh, yeah. I should say nine new full size transfers. The big ones. Because we also have uh, one, two, three, four mini transfers that came out. So we have the white magnolia, and this is what comes in it. Nice. Everybody's been asking for more magnolias here in the South. So this is great. These are priced at $16, um, and you get three sheets. There's six by 12 owls, Ooh. which is great if you love the magical kind of things, especially. This artisanal tile. Oh, that's pretty. It's really beautiful. And then um, this one is wine. Huh? You can see on the back. It's got some great designs. And then we got a new mold, which is just branches. So we got came out with some birds and branches and some florals. And so this is just branches. So if you want to expand that, that's what this is for. And then check this out. These are new six by six stencils. They're only $8. These are all the different patterns on the back. Oh, wow. Um, all of those don't come in here, but we... Those are what's available. Those are what's available. These are by Finnabar, by Prima, and these are fantastic. Um, especially... It was like a doily stencil. It is. Like, we have wood grain. Um, we have... Let's talk about a doily. This one's fabulous. Hmm. And then check these out. Those are interesting. And then there's another new release coming out next week that I can't show you any of yet. So don't ask. So don't ask. And then there's three new stencils I actually don't want to grab too. Can you see that one? See. I'm really excited about these because you know how much I love using stencils. They're fun. Problems. There's one, one, one. Well, I'm sorry, there's two more new ones besides those. These are great. So this one is like accounting. Melissa, this could get you in trouble, I'm telling you. What? There's a there's a lot to be to be bought here. I know. And if you buy over two hundred dollars, it's free shipping, excluding DIY paint. Not that she's trying to twist an arm or anything. Not that I'm trying to twist twist an arm. And then, of course, check these out. I these was are, looking at this one. I'm trying to figure out what this full, one is. There's three of these. These are full-size stencils, 12 by 12. Let me try to get the third one here. So the first one, it's like a bunch of circles. And it's called Honeycomb. You know, I have to have a honeycomb. And then this one is checkered, if you need uh. a nice checkerboard. It's a really good size, too. It is a good size. And this is netting, which is going to be great for all the mermaid stuff. Ooh. Ooh. So those are fun. Uh, let me show you the nine new transfers. Well, those are pretty. And I'm going to open a couple of these because I really want you to see the colors. And the detail. 
And then that's going to be the three sheets, one over the other, or you yep. can cut them up and use them how you want. Which is usually how I use them, but sometimes they make them a little bit stiff, of course. Um, we have three new CC restyled transfers, full-size transfers, and two new CC decoupage papers, which if you love the more like hip, um, yeah, this is kind of what it looks like. Can you like see that? Tattoo art. Yeah, it really is a lot like tattoo art. This is, if you saw the blue box that I did, the colors are so beautiful Ooh, and vibrant. Yeah. And they really go really pretty with all the DIY paint colors. And this is her third one, which I love because it has um, a lot of writing and lace. It's a really nice background. Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl wants to know if you could start from the beginning. It's like, girl, hit rewind. Yeah, we'll just have to catch up afterwards. Um, and speaking of mermaids. Oh, new mermaid. She's actually an old mermaid that they brought back. Oh, well, welcome back, mermaid. Some beautiful peacocks. So. And I want you to see the color on these peacocks because it's more of a muted it's not that bright, flashy peacock. Um, and this to me looks more like, almost like watercolor. Oh, those are nice. Look how pretty these are. Cheryl's excited that mermaid is back. And these little birds, these little birds here are like the ones on Blossom Flight and Postal Birds. Okay. I'm familiar with those ones. I use those a lot. If you are somebody that likes to cut them apart and use them on smalls, like me, then you will really love cozy evening because it's sideways, but it's all oh yeah. Okay. It's perfect elements to cut apart. But I'll tell you that the new release, I think it's coming out September 9th, I think is the day. Um, that is all fall and Christmas primas. Um, I can't show them to you yet, but I did put in my order today, so we'll have plenty. Um, but that's pretty exciting. And this is the last of the full-size transfers. And this is another good one that's kind of like a cut-apart one. Oh, let me get that. It's got a lot of the French words on there. Mm -hmm. wow. All right, Cheryl will be in tomorrow. Awesome. <laughs> and then we have, I think, two new stamps. So this one is Elemental Borders, and this one is Tribal Prints. Ooh. And these all come apart as individuals, so they're great for like borders and things like that. Okay, okay. I was trying to figure out how those worked as borders. Yeah. Um, so you'll see me doing some fun things with those, not today. But so when are the fall and Christmas going to be available again? I believe it is September 9th. All right, so keep your keep your eyes and ears yeah, open. We'll have them available as soon as they come. I think I ordered um, either 12 or 18 of each. I'm going to guess as soon as we can go live with them, we're going to go live with them. Yep. And um, we also have two new transfers from Dixie Bell. And these are the ones we're going to be using today. And guys, when I tell you the price on these, you're going to die. So these are full-size transfers, 24 by 38, $21.95 per tube. Oh, and it's all little bitties that you cut out. Like, if you're getting ready to do some jewelry boxes and things like that for Christmas projects, oh, yeah. these are phenomenal. And these are what we're going to be using today um, to show you. Because our project today is going to be on these glass windows lovely clean windows that my friend connie gave to me she closed down her little vintage business and um, her booth at great american and she gave me some of the projects that she hadn't started yet and these are some of them so we're gonna work with those and show connie what we can do with them whoop, whoop. thank you connie so i will try to put this in the stand and if any of y'all are eyeballing my muffin back off man. back off back off her muffin so this is what we're going to be doing. I'm going to turn the camera around and you want to grab my phone too so that I can, 
um, have it set up. Okay, I'm gonna try to get it set up here. This is our craft room um, where we do classes. It's not particularly big. I'm gonna try to keep my hand out of the way. I'm going to use my, uh, my, my water bottle as your Oh, this is upside down. That's why I'm having a trouble. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a bit bumpy here. I couldn't set this up because... Get me all dizzy. <laughs> Get me all dizzy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I grew up in California. I'm used to earthquakes. Okay. My hand over the camera, too. Huh? I don't even know. Your little poppet is really annoying. I'm just going to say. Well, it helps me when I play Pokemon. Well, that's probably true, but it doesn't help with the live. No Pokemon players out there, hit me up. Okay, so that should be good there. All right. Okay. I'll let you slide in. Where's my phone? Right there. Oh. In your face. And we are back. I know, Elaine, that price, right? It's amazing. Um, and the tribal transfer does, or excuse me, the tribal um stamp does look a lot like the tribal transfer they're made to work together so that's really awesome um yeah i hate shipping fees too melissa um paint is really expensive if if you're buying a bunch of small things and like the the small stencils and stuff like that and we find out that shipping is a lot less we're happy to refund some of it to you it's true. The girls are really good about adjusting the shipping costs. Do you want to move that in a little so they can probably hear us better? Oh, you want to hear us too? Probably. Oh. Let's see. Uh, yes, John, Sue took the muffins. It was just the last one. Can you drop it a little so that they can see more of the project? Drop it. Tilt? Down. Just open the little... You want this to... Yeah. Lower. That's perfect. Sorry for the shakes, people. And let's grab some paint while you're right there. Move it a little closer. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna be working with, let's open these so that we can see what we wanna work with in these windows. Break my windows. So I have four windows. And this window actually needs a little repair work, so we'll do that after the show. These are fancy sticks. They're all finished, all pretty and everything. They're like stained. Oh That's nice. So I haven't even gotten to see these yet because they just came in. So this is sheet one. This is sheet two. There's four sheets in here. Look how pretty this black and white is. Yeah, I'm noticing they've got like one of the four panels and each one is a black and white. Mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of fun. It is. She is a good helper. That's why I keep her around. It's true. You have no idea how much she helped this week. I try. Holy cow. She was... She was for sure a good... A, um... A good sport this week. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't complain too much either. I think this one would actually be really pretty on yours with the two the split black and here. Right? Um, maybe do like the gray for okay. the border and then do like the black and white. So gray on the outside? Yep. A gray on the frame. All Let right. me see that one. Yep. Well, okay. I better start painting because, you know, I'm a little slow. Um, you know, these are, they could be a little spring. I don't know. They're this, this one sheet in here in particular. I'll show you some. These in particular seem very fall to me. Look at all the color. I don't know if this got shipped and something split open, but there's a whole lot of pretty color on that one. It's all paint splattered. Reminds me of, you know, rubber balls that got all the colors in them. What did I miss that John is saying Star Wars or Marvel? What? What did I miss in this conversation? And so this is the cherry blossoms. Oh yeah, this definitely got shipped this way because tag stole on there. Woo! 
I'm fine. Fling anything in the I'm, I'm flinging paint. So I think I'm gonna do the fancy farm girl on my plane. So what'd you guys think of the store? Did you like our tour today? I haven't even really been in the store much lately, so it was kind of nice to walk around and see stuff. No, we've been, Sue already cleaned these before we went live. I did. I was gonna do it, you know, for you guys and show you how to clean a window just in case you didn't know how. But we've got a lot to cover. But I realized that I probably need lessons myself, so. Um, I don't usually tape off or anything, and I usually use a razor blade to clean the, the windows. I don't know if I have that, to be honest, right now. Girls might have something back there. So I'm going to try to mostly keep it off the glass. Oh, well, so you're telling me to be neat about it. Um, I mean, you can do what you do. <laughs> you do you. Not do me. Um, I don't want this to be super pristine, and I'm actually kind of going to do a little pouncing probably and get... Oh yeah, you want to go for texture today. I do want to kind of go for some texture today. Was I supposed to have like a heat gun or something? Ready? We have heat guns right here. Are they all ready to go? Um, that's questionable, but I got an extension that cord over here. question. Should I have prepared for such things? Mm, always, but... It's on, on your bucket list. Well, come on now. What bucket list? The lady wants to come visit the store. It's on her bucket list. Oh, well, you should do that. Come and yeah. say hi. You can come and visit us and then keep going south and you can go to Disney World and Universal. It's oh. getting to be fall. You can take in a bioluminescent kayak tour. Oh, That's yeah, those are best. fun. Those are super fun. It is the best. I am telling you, it is a must have on everybody's bucket list. Although, I'm going to say today, I really don't like the kayaks. Well, today you just had to drive my kayaks around. You didn't get to have fun on the kayaks. I did not get to have fun on the kayaks. And not only did I not get to have fun on the kayaks, but this is the first time that we've ever hitched up her... My little trailer. Her new, her new trailer. And that was a calamity that, of that, errors. That was a nightmare. That had us... That had us out until 11 last night, and we still didn't accomplish what we needed to. There are no alligators on the bioluminescent tours. <clears throat> she could tell you that, but that is not always the case. But you are in a kayak. But the mating season is over, so it's really not a big deal. And in the bay where the bioluminescents are at, uh, they don't usually like to be out there this time of the year. So, if anything, you'll see all the fun fish. Oh uh, you might get a The fish manatee. hopping was so cool. Yeah. The mullets just it cracked was, me it up. Was like a, it was like the um, you want to kiss the girl scene on Little Mermaid. <laughs> no, it, 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 it is... It is definitely worth doing. If you're on the Space Coast, plan it with a, a launch. I still want to see a launch. One of these days, I'm going to see a rocket launch. We used to watch them every year from uh, in high school from the roof of the building. And so, the Challenger. From all the way across the state? Yep. Wow. We could see them across until the Challenger. And unfortunately, we saw the Challenger, too. they swim everywhere so you know if they like to swim in the Galveston Bay we find them on the beaches once in a while I mean you know, it's an alligator who's gonna tell an alligator what to do when the general finishes paint does not chip like milk paint um, it, it it is a lot more like a fusion or something in that it has a built-in primer and top coat um, it does no chipping whatsoever. I don't personally think they should call it milk paint because it's, it's very, I'll say misleading in that sense for people who know what milk paint is. Um, it's been a very popular brand. We're just trying to be like everywhere sells general finishes. Yeah, so general finishes is very popular in our area. So there's really no need for us to sell it and take up all that space. Yeah, so we've kind of been whittling you that down. You noticed our store is small. 
<laughs> yeah, we only have 1,400 square feet. We've carried general finishes since we had the 10,000 square foot store. Yeah. Um, and we've kind of been whittling it down and not reordering. And now we're at the point where it's really small enough that we just kind of want to get rid of it and have more boutique items that you can't find anywhere else. Like this is not, you know, the woodworkers are really the people who mostly tend to shop for the general finishes, I'll say. And, and I mean, I think you can get that at like wood, would uh, you? Wood, wood crafters and would you yeah. and so they're not really stopping by our store we're not that kind of store um so we're trying to stick with more of the transfers and stamps and stencils and molds um we'll start carrying resin again here very soon i'm checking out different brands we used to carry amazing casting resin which is okay i love their 10 minute resin but i don't really love their pouring resin so the resins are fun to play with. I um, definitely want to play with resin. And they don't have a UV resin, and I really want a brand that has a UV resin. Um, so I'm, I'm checking out some different brands right now. Um, primarily art resins. I know I need to get this lip here. All right, this one's going to get the window for sure. I'm going to have to find a razor blade before the day is through. How yeah. am I doing, folks? So you've gotten a lot of compliments recently on uh, on the comments. I'm getting compliments? You are. Is it because I'm not swearing? Could be. Could be. Could be. All right. Um, I definitely need to let this dry. I'm thinking two coats because it went on very thin, which I'm kind of surprised. Um, I just think that gray and white, they have a hard time together. No, white, I don't like doing white. I know you don't because you always see gray through it when we started the uh, staging business in south carolina mm -hmm. we used to do a lot of the actual work for people to have their house ready the painting and stuff cupboards in the kitchen she always wanted them white you know how many coats of white you have to put on that 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 stupid oak not oak more like the it wasn't, well, the oak is bad. It, it was the oak. I'm telling you. It, it killed me. It well, killed me. And then everybody was doing those mocha colored cabinets at the time. Yeah. Or I should say that trend was ending. So everyone's trying to get past it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put that up there. So and somewhere. We need to figure out the hot, the hot glue gun situation. The hot, I don't need a glue gun. I mean, I need a, the heat guns, these. Oh, they're there. And I need to plug it in somewhere. There's one right here. Let me take this. These are the noisy ones, too. Sorry. Uh, uh, oh, I see. They got it all the way in the middle of the table. I should have thought about this beforehand. Muffle. Yeah, we do have the noisy glue gun here. Noisy glue gun. She's really I'm got, really stuck on glue gun today. On glue guns today. <laughs> heat gun, heat gun, heat gun, heat gun. Heat, heat, heat. Heat of gun. I don't know. I kind of like the the dark brown peeking through the back. What do you think? You see it peeking through the sides? Oh, yeah. Do I have to do the back side? I don't have to do the back side. I'm not doing the back side. Wendy, the Christmas transfers come out, I believe it is September 9th. We are anxiously awaiting those. Because I'll tell you, we're going to be busy little bees when them puppies come out. Oh, yeah. of DIY paint when it teed it up. Am I weird? You might be. I might be weird. But 
it's okay because it's nine all natural ingredients. It's true. Don't put that over there. Oh, I thought we were going to plug in a second one. Oh, I don't think we can handle that. All right. I didn't think so far. Definitely needs a second coat, although it looks very weathered this way. But, oh, we're going to second coat. See what we got. I like watching DIY paint dry. It does dry for Yeah, I think it's going to do really well for my cherry blossom with the brown and green line. What? The brown and green? The brown and green. And I'm not trying to make this pristine. And you saw me pouncing with the, the Klingon brush. And what I was trying to do is just add a little bit of texture. Because, you know, these old windows are always, always have rough texture anyway. We have rough texture. I don't know if you need that anymore. Look at that. All that years of, of edging. Pretty good with this. I'm not yeah. getting the window so bad. I can paint a house. It's painting stuff I'm not so good at. Unless it's a tabletop. I love doing tabletop. You do. And you love waxing. Who doesn't love waxing? Most people. That's the best part. I appreciate the fact that you like doing the parts that I don't really like doing. Of course. Hand everything over to you for distressing because I always feel bad about distressing. I know. You, I was I like, I just did all this work to make it perfect and now you want to mess it up. Yes, yes, I do. That's who I am, and that's what I do. When we're done, I'm going to have to probably put some uh, L brackets on the back because this corner is in rough, rough shape. Oh, it's it's got some rot going on. Um, and I obviously don't want it to fall apart. Old windows. Gotta love them. Gotta love them. All right, how we do it over there? Yeah. Um, then one of the nice things about... Um, DIY paint is that you can you oh, could yeah. keep Probably building you can keep building up the texture if you want um, and you could go over it with another color and um, sand or blend down to the texture so you could almost do it like a salt wash without the additives not quite but almost it's, it's like a salt wash but not quite as chunky yes So what was your favorite of the new releases that you saw today? I'm just curious. Everything. Everything. The mini transfers and the CC uh, big transfers are my favorites. Yeah, she's got good stuff. I I'm, like the bold colors. I'm excited to um, use some of the CC transfers. One of the things with our big floor change that we've decided to do is that I am going to be working on one really big ornate piece every month. Oh, really? Using a lot of the products. So, like, we'll be using decoupage paper in the drawers. So, I need to find you stamps like, on the, the outside dressers. of the drawers. Um, you know, like the gilding or whatever on the hardware. Um, stencils, transfers, layering, all kinds of um, molds, all of that. So we'll be having a lot of fun with that and we'll, you know, kind of keep you up to date on the project on the as as we progress on those. Oh, watch out for the little videos for each step. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it'll probably be a small video included with each one and then we'll maybe edit into a full video. Uh, we do not, we are sold out of all of the General Finishes top coats. I'm sorry. General Finishes Flat Out Flat is one of my all-time favorite top coats. Um, but we are sold out. So again, we're discontinuing that brand. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, there's nothing wrong with the paints. 
It's just that in this area, like everybody has them and we're, we're trying to be a little more boutique, I'll say. We're like craft beer, you know? <laughs> it's like the little, little small paint brands. So now I'm just trying to figure out how I want to lay these yeah. out. All right. I think I'm good there. I don't know what I'm going to do about all the paint on my windows. I mean, you could just get a paper towel and water because DIY is um, cleans oh, yeah. up with water. Why do I forget these things? No harsh solvents needed. And there's a spray misting bottle right over there by that red truck. But that is way. But I got I got so much white paint on the back of the window. I don't even. Oh no, that's on the front. What the heck? Keep what it. the heck, Sue? What the heck? What the heck? So our neighbor's board and brush is having a class right now. <laughs> so well, they're ending a class right now. Yeah. So if you hear music or you see or you hear voices, it's coming from them. Yeah, their own little paint classes going on. So um, these are easy. These are um, these are limited runs. The cherry blossom, and I can't remember the name of the other one. I don't know, but I, I need one of them. Um, it's called vintage floral. Are the two, and they are limited runs, and they are not by their typical manufacturer. So they have advised us that they may be slightly more. It may take more burnishing to get them off so we shall see are they saying they're gonna make it tough on me this time they may yeah. i know right what to do what to do all right do you want me to go with black and white i don't know it looks like it's coming out pretty easy to me and i will say the dixie ball transfers are some of the easiest transfers in my opinion to come off I mean, as far as like come off the, the plastic to transfer, um, like Hocus Pocus and IOD are the hardest ones to me. Although the IOD has gotten better, um, but the Hocus Pocus is like pixel is basically you're transferring the ink pixel by pixel. So you have to hit like every little piece of that. There's no riding the wave on a Hocus Pocus transfer. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna buy the shop new scissors. How do you make them work with such scissors? Because they use them for everything. There's another pair here. You wanna try this pair? This is probably better. Oh yeah, these ones. So this is coming off really easy. So I'm not sure what that was. That message to us was about, but what's that? The that this might take that it doesn't work very well. Work, that, well, that might take more work is what they said. Maybe in the early ones they had some issues. Maybe, or maybe it's because I'm going on glass. I don't know. Not over paint. Could be. All right. No. The colors are really pretty on the glass. And so I'm basically going to line this up on the other side, and I know that this branch. Is, looks like it's going to lead into nowhere, but what I'm going to do, bless you, Thank is I'm going to lay another one over it so it looks like this connects to another piece. Have I ever thought about selling country chic? Um, no, I haven't. I don't know to be honest, I have heard of them. I, I don't know a ton about them. Um, but I think for now, anyway, I'm really happy with the paint lines that we carry. The only other one I'm considering is Fusion Milk Paint. And that's because we already sell Fusion and we sell a lot of Fusion. And so the idea of, we currently carry Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint, which is my favorite. But since Fusion came out with a milk paint and it's made by the same manufacturer as Miss Mustard Seed, then that to me is something that I have thought about. But I am really happy right now. Again, we're a small store. I mean, Cheryl, you've been in here. It's not very big. 
So I'm really not thinking about adding another paint line. Um, there are other things that we're looking at as far as like decoupage papers, um, recycled and um, a couple of ephemera ones, but not, not specifically new paints. So what I'm doing when I hit the window pane is I'm just kind of creasing my transfer so that I kind of know where to cut. I'm just sort of lining them up. And this is sort of that layering process. Oh, so this color green paint is Fancy Farm Girl by DIY Paint Elaine. Um, Cheryl says it looks like gypsy green on hers, but it is, fan I am using Fancy Farm Girl. And, um, do we seal the transfers on our projects? Yes, we usually do. Uh, I You can either seal them with a top coat or you can seal them with wax. I will be sealing this with wax. And I unfortunately cannot seal over the transfer part on this one because it's on glass. So you just have to make sure it's burnished really well onto the glass. And then, um, and then it can only be cleaned with like damp water. It cannot, no, no chemical solvents, uh, sort of a light cloth and water. What's up? I don't know. I'm just trying to, I'm cutting things out, thinking about where I want to put them and how I want to do this. And basically I go blank. This is why I'm not the crafter in the group. Do you want me to help you with the layout? Maybe. I'm just going to cut it. Are you going to be creative here? and on your own? And that's cool, totally cool too. Get creative if you Get creative. That's the whole point. It is a really pretty one. As a matter of fact, um, in the house that I just sold until it was for sale, this was the color of my island because I love this color. So I love that bright pop of green and I had yellow bar stools, um, like really, really yellow, like sunshine yellow bar stools, like queen bee bar stools. And, uh, they were fantastic. I like bright, happy colors. I remember a long, long time ago when I was a stager, there used to be a show out, um, one of the property selling shows, and they had a stager in it who used to come in. And I actually knew her in real life because she lived in Charleston. And so we would talk all the time about the fact that so much of these shows is, you know, for the show that she would never talk to a client. Like they talk to people on the shows. Um, but I remember once she, she told the client that it looked like, um, her house looked like it was like a kindergartner project where somebody had just thrown, um, used a whole box of crayons. That would be my house. <laughs> huh? That would be mean. And, uh, and that's honestly kind of how I like to live. I like to live in a box of crayons because in my staging world, it's so neutral all the time. So I just want to show you how I sort of blended those together that you can see that this one here ended right here, but then I put another one across here so that it looks like it's a branch off of this one. And then I gotta find the rest of that piece to put up there. There it is. And it's really pretty with the green, isn't it? I think these transfers being $21.99 is ridiculous. Four sheets. Now, would you recommend that anything that doesn't fit, do I put it on the sides or do I take it over to the other side of the pane like you're doing? I mean, you can do it either way, but I'll tell you it's easier if you cut it and put it over the pane like I'm doing. But easy you can do it either way. Easy. I mean, it depends on the look that you want. 
I have no idea what I'm looking Whether you for. want it to look like they're looking through a window, you know, and seeing the image, or whether you want it to look like it's more like painted on it. Are we going to seal it on the window, or is it just going to be... You're not going to seal it. We're going to seal the frame. We're not going to seal the windows. Okay. Like the boots, but I don't like the boots. See, I'm just wishy washy. Wishy washy, you. Wishy washy. Um, how are we gonna seal it on the window? We're really not gonna seal it on the window. Um, theoretically, this is for decorative purposes, so there shouldn't be a lot of touching or things that happen to it. Um, so we'll seal the frame, but not really the window. I don't necessarily have to have it one over the other. I could have them side by side, right? Yeah. Would that be weird? No. Let's take a look. I mean, that one doesn't have D-rings or anything on it, so we'll have to add That's those. That's true. So you can do it kind of however you want. Do whatever I want to do. Hmm. I'm just examining what I want to do here. how much I want to fill this in what direction. Maybe I don't want boots. I don't just want flowers. Maybe I want one boot. I mean, the colors on this are so pretty. Oh, and in case know. you didn't guess, I do plan on distressing my window before I see it. Not you. I know. That's shocking, isn't it? Who here feels surprised? Hi, Les. How are you doing? Oh, hi. All right. I'm going to put this one on and see where I get, get to. Sue's being brave. Jump it in. Watch out. Jump it in. Watch out. Better watch out for me. I'm going to press so hard I'm going to go right through the glass. Elaine says, Sue, be creative. Just go for it. You can go do for it. it. Creative is just not my middle name. Yeah, Cheryl is for sure right. Once these transfers hit glass, they are not going anywhere. <laughs> Which means, too, that when you're putting them down, like, hold them up. Don't, like, think you can lay them down and, and then pick them back up again. And pick them back yeah, up because no. that ain't going to happen. Believe me, that was running through my head. Like, don't let it stick anywhere. I don't want it. It's just going to be stuck. I've had enough mishaps with transfers. <laughs> I'm learning. I think like one of the first ones you did was the wave one, right? Yes. Where she stuck it to itself. And she's like, Melissa, how do I fix this? It's like, uh, you don't, you don't. Once it's stuck, it's, it's stuck. That's all right. All right, there's always ways to fix it. There is, and so we painted a different beach scene on the bottom and it was fine. I didn't have to throw it across the room. Which does make putting them on glass a little bit easier than putting them on furniture because they do stick really well, so they stick pretty fast. Thank you, Melissa. I appreciate that. Yes, if you could please like, that would be amazing. And we just hit 6,000 subscribers whoop, this whoop, week. Whoop, 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 whoop. Thank you so much. I don't think Bree's here, but I was really hoping to Bree, beat Bree to 10, but she puts up more videos than I do, so she hit 10 this week. Good for her. Yeah, I'm really happy for her. Little jealous. Not gonna lie. You'll get there. Not gonna lie. Gotta wash the window too good. That's okay. That's okay. We will get there, as Sue said. Well, Patience. now that now that the house is sold, I have to focus on getting my house in order because, like, you cannot imagine all the crap that's in my house right now. You can barely walk through the garage, which is kind of what we were trying to get away from. 
with the new house. Um, it's just not helpful when I'm out there getting them estate sales. <laughs> yeah. Here, Melissa, here's a box of something for you to play with. Yeah. As if you've got all the time in the world to play with boxes. So stuff. much time I have to do all that. So much time. But, you know, I've got to get things out of my car, so. Yeah, so she just keeps bringing them home. I'm going to turn this over. So you can see so far where I am. I'm going to turn it over because I'm not very tall and I need to work at the top. You aren't very tall. I know. But you come across so tall. For anybody who doesn't know, my Instagram, my personal Instagram handle is shortbody underscore. No, it's all one word, isn't it? Or is it underscore? It's an underscore. I think it's an underscore. Shortbody underscore tall mind. And the story behind that is that... So I've been a stager for, I don't know, going on 20 years now. And when, when I started staging, there were no conventions or anything like that. And then somebody created a group on a, on a, on a forum called activerain.com, which activerain.com still exists. It's primarily real estate related. Um, things, but it got bought by Zillow, and so a lot of us kind of turned our backs on it, not not to lie there. Um, and uh, and I used to blog a lot. I did a lot of blogs. And people got to know if me. You like to read, huh? So if you like to read, if you like to read. Find it. Um, and I used to, I used to do like two or three blogs a week, and I got pretty well known for it, which is how I got to be so well known in the industry and became president of the Real Estate Staging Association. When that formed, I've been, I was a founding member. Um, and up until a couple years ago, I always held some leadership position in that group. I spoke annually at all the conventions and all that. And uh, everybody had known me from my blogs, but nobody had ever seen me other than, you know, the little teeny tiny thumbnail. And the the first thing everybody said to me when they would meet me was wow from your blog i thought you'd be taller she writes big and i never quite understood that statement like how how, how do i write tall so what tall people have better ideas or yes and so, and, and consistently, it's still what I hear from people. Oh, I thought you'd be taller. Let's see. What was I? Um, Melissa says, everybody, oh, yeah. Uh, what does the black and white one have on it? So, Sue's doing a black one, and she'll oh, yeah. show you Sorry. what that is. I might. I'm and um, I think about it, this I also has these in black and white. And a little bit of red they're really pretty um i may use this i'm definitely going to use some of the, the chinese writing on here yeah i like that hmm? i like the writing yeah i definitely like the writing something got up underneath my thingy a piece of window i really think for 21.95 these are amazing there we go uh let's see lynn says i like your ideas and creativity so many good i do it thank you so much i appreciate that um cheryl i try to I try to follow um, ideas for people with booths. I just want to say that I find these transfers stickier to the touch. I can't, I can't uh, wipe my fingers on them like I'm used to doing for burnishing. Oh. Um, so they say you can use the plastic to burnish. I'm just trying that too. Let me try that little piece you got there. See, I'm finding everything sticky. Maybe it's your fingers, because you said that about my steering wheel yesterday. Hey, look. My finger isn't touching it. It's sticky. Are you sticky fingers lately? This is sticky. That's not my finger. Is that my finger? It's not sticky. It's sticking on this. This is feel that. That's sticky. Where? Feel that flower. There's a little 
it, it, it's got a drag to it. But it's on there pretty good. There, I'll show you. I'll show you, I promise. It's going to be upside down, so pardon that. Can you see that? Oh my god, my battery's dying. Um, I probably need to fix that. Yeah, we probably need to fix that. At least you have to hit the, don't hit the low power mode, just hit close. Are we back? Are we there? All right, do we have a charger here? There should be one, but do I know where? Check in the office. Otherwise, we can text Heather. Okay. Heather, are you watching? And if you are watching, can you tell us where an iPhone charger would be? Oh, you know where it's going to be? It's going to be where the desk used to be on that back area. They used to have shelves that had iPhone chargers in them. The red ones. This is where I am so far. I think I'm going to add, I'm going to turn it the other way so I could add some of the writing. And then I also want to add some of these petals or individual flowers that can be falling. But I want to add the writing next because I kind of want to see how that's going to work out. These are going to be great for jewelry boxes. I'm just going to say, I'm... In my head right now, I'm kind of jonesing over thinking about them with jewelry boxes because, you know, I do a lot of jewelry boxes and it's kind of that time of year where I need to get some done because I, because we, they really sell for us. I do kind of wish I knew what all of it said. I'm trying to keep the orientation the same so I don't accidentally put them on upside down. I feel that would be bad. Uh, well, let's just keep going and maybe we'll be okay. If our phone dies, we apologize in advance. Do you have some of the words on yours? I have flowers with words. But do you have any of the Chinese words on yours? No, no that all came in the, that package because okay. it would go with those flowers. Oh, here they are. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, which way is up? Up is the opposite of down. What do I use for jewelry boxes? I go buy jewelry boxes at the thrift store and I refurb them with lots of transfers and paint and oh yeah jewelry the jewelry boxes are all over the place at the thrift stores people get tired of their jewelry boxes they gunk them up they need something bigger so when i think about jewelry boxes i like to think about jewelry boxes for kids and tweeners because you know they're starting out with their jewelry collection they need something small Okay, so ba I'm going to go based on the way the transfer is laid out, but this is up. Because if I'm being honest, I have oh, I can tell you no can idea. Oh, oh, sorry. That way. So it's not either of the ways. I took, I took several years of Chinese in high school. Well, isn't that handy for me? I had no idea you'd be so handy in so many ways. See? I've got weird skills nobody knows about. Couldn't tell you what it says, though, because, well, I don't know what that says. That's a little easier for me to read. Random question. I like random. Does anyone know how to keep strawberries from going bad so fast? 
Ooh, ooh, you know, I saw something somewhere about that. I don't know if it helps or Searching not. Searching my brain. But my mother always used to put a paper towel under them in the container. I think that draws some of the moisture out of them, like um, I'm getting too humid in the container. But I don't know. Cindy, thank you for my compliment on my glasses. Man, I swear I've seen something about that just the other day and I cannot think of what it was. So I apologize. Look at that. I'm going to be a transfer. But I bet YouTube and Google would be your friend on that. Pinterest. Pinterest has everything. So Sue, from her estate sales, has been picking up, well, frankly, everything. Well, frankly, yes, everything. Um, but particularly a lot of books. Man, have I been getting some books. So I've become Pinterest book project obsessed. And I've been home folding Christmas trees out of books. Yep, old paperbacks and now new Christmas trees. Yep. Um. See, that reminds me of Girl Scouts, because I think we used to do stuff like that in Girl Scouts. And then I'm, I'm looking for spindles and things that I can use for pots that I can embellish them with molds and, you know, make little for my Christmas trees. So I tend to layer, for those of you who don't know me a lot, so here's how the words kind of layer over my cherry blossoms. Move the stem until you're ready to eat them. Good to know. That is good to know. Wendy, I grew up in St. Pete. I would think anything that keeps the moisture out would help. That would be. I've also got like the green plastic bags that are designed to allow the airflow to do whatever it needs to do. So it doesn't get, like she was saying, too humid, holding all that moisture that creates the rot. I've seen them for like bananas and stuff, and I think you can use them for all the all the different fruits. Okay, so we're trying to be helpful here. We're trying to know all. We don't though. Just right. for the record, you know. That's right. We are lousy gardeners. I have a green thumb, I just don't utilize it. Look, I have a green thumb too. <laughs> Fancy farm girl. Green. To be specific. Hey, I've kept the plants alive. When I got, been, when I clean out the houses, I get a lot of the house plants too, and I've been loving that. I've been loving that. That's true. More and more seem to crop up in my backyard every day. We're gonna have the or every whole, week or so, anyway. The whole place is gonna be crawling with plants. Little jungle. Yeah, I'm kind of seeing what you mean. There's a little bit of a, a stickiness. Um, it's that the, what is usually the halo. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm doing a, I'm doing a tap on there to make sure I got bubbles. It out. does seem like you can use your finger and kind of pull it off though. Like, um, it's, it's like, uh, like peeling off glue off your fingers a little bit. It's a little like, oh, can you even see that? Can you even See how I'm going here? I kind of like I want to throw like a pop of color in here somewhere. I'm gonna save this one. I don't think I'm gonna put that there. Wow, is that rain I'm hearing now suddenly? That's like a deluge. Like all of a sudden, whoosh! Welcome to Florida. I was laughing the other day when Jamie Ray was posting something about she was she was doing a video and she was getting all distracted by the rain. She's like, oh my gosh, you should show them the rain. 
you should show them the rain and and they 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 show the rain and it's like oh that's like a four o'clock shower here mm -hmm. it's like that's nothing <laughs> that's nothing you should see what we get for rain in florida man it rains oh yeah that's rain let's see all right what am i doing next do i want to do i like the boot do you not like the boot do you like the boot i like the boot do you like the two boots or do you like the single boot um i think for that i like Maybe I like them together like that. Like a whole... Like a vignette. A, a boot vignette? A boot vignette. Like right down here on the bottom? Yeah. Alright, we're doing some boots. Let's see. These boots were... Oh no, don't get singing. Is all the air dry clay the same? I don't think so, no. Um, no. They are, not, they are not made equally. They are not made equally. Um, I think so far the one I like the best is paper clay. The one that I've had the best results with lot less cracking and stuff like that is paper clay. I know IOD has a new formula and I haven't tried that. I don't know anybody who sells IOD locally um, where I go regularly anyway. I'd have to really go out of my way to go to find it and... You know, I generally try to stick with products we sell and we do not sell paper clay, but um, I do have some that I picked up and I do like it. We sell Prima modeling clay and it's really good, but I'm gonna say they don't consistently have it in stock right now, not since COVID for me to recommend. And the ones we have are really small, so they're really good. It's it's a really nice uh, clay, but I don't know. It's having it in stock is a little hit or miss. Yes. And let's see, what will we price the windows? Um, probably around thirty eight dollars. Be my thought. You think? At least mine. Mine's a little bigger than yours. So yours might be closer to like 29, 32, something like that, because yours is a little smaller than mine. I don't know much about the pricing of windows. Have a great weekend, Cheryl. Bye. I know I'm a little long. I'm Sorry. a little slow. This one won't let go, let go. But we did the store tour tonight and showed you all the new releases before we went live. I mean, we were live, but before we did our stuff. So, and honestly, we're just kind of crafting. So it's more like a Friday night craft. It really is. Most of you are probably crafting. Craft along. Most of you watching are probably crafting with us. So Ooh, this boot is interesting. Interesting how? They got a negative space right in the middle of the boot. I wasn't expecting that. I, mm. I was expecting it to go full halo. Interesting. Which I suppose is what you just said. Okay. So I think I'm done adding to mine. Wendy says that my price is too cheap, that she sells them for $49 to $55. Really? Oh, um, Yeah, I don't, I mean, you know, every area is sort of its own area. I don't know if we could sell them for that much unless they were really super detailed. Maybe. The answer is I don't know. I think I'm going to act, I forgot I wanted to add a couple little individual flowers that were falling off of the cherry blossoms because you know when you see cherry blossoms they're everywhere they're all over the, in the wind so this is where i just fill in a little bit of the negative space Whoop. love sitting next to the garbage can and i did grab the golden ticket like a patina i did notice that so i thought i'd add a little bit of that to mine as well because i mean you know cherry blossoms and gold seem to 
so fancy. Oh, and you've got your funky gold patina on, don't you? Funky gold patina. Friday, I figured out how to dress up. That's right. Heather made these shirts. She did. That was inspired by Teresa and her love of 80s music. <laughs> It does stick really nicely on glass. I won't lie there. It does man. stick pretty good. Although when I'm doing all of this, I'm thinking I really should have scraped the glass because now that I'm really close into the glass, there's like little paint flecks in there, which probably was me painting the gray. So it's probably my fault. Yeah, Cheryl, I agree with you that if you want a crisp look, resin is the way to go. Um, I am experimenting with different brands of um, UV resin right now. Yeah, that's that's her her big rabbit hole for the week. For the week, yep. Yeah. So I've ordered a couple different lamps, and I've ordered a couple different resins because I do want to carry resin in the store. Um, I do want to carry UV resin in the store. And so now it's what brands do I like? What brands do I want? Will they work with the molds? So far, big flat eh, on the molds. Look good on the molds? Um, they haven't they haven't cured all the way through on the molds yet. So I've been disappointed about that. I kind of saw a mess of a pile of your sunflowers the other day. That was me trying for with the hot glue. Okay. Um, yeah, that was me trying with the hot glue. I wasn't sure what that was all about, and I was like, oh boy, that didn't work out. That did not work out. Um, it was definitely too much detail for the sunflowers. Yeah, that one was a very detailed one. You really got to get in the nooks and crannies, and you definitely need something that's going to be a, a loose release, not a, a real stiff release mm -hmm. on that one. Yeah. I, I don't even think you could, I mean, I guess you could theoretically do it with paper clay, but I, I can't could, imagine. You should be careful, very careful. I mean, I, for sure you'd have to use cornstarch or something because it's so big. I don't know. I feel like I'd make a hot mess out of that. <laughs> what else are you going to do at 3 in the morning? I have been up crafting till 3 in the morning this last... Like, we haven't been getting home until, like, 11. And then I need my unwind time. So, yeah. I'm... Can I just say how much I am looking forward to sleeping in tomorrow? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Oh, and um, news, if you are local with Cheryl, you'll... Um, appreciate this is starting Monday, August 30th, which is this Monday. It is. Um, we will be open seven days a week again, Yay. our old store hours. Um, and Mondays are the Monday morning mimosas from 9 a.m. to noon for $25. And that is open craft time. That's a come on in, sit on down and enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna call mine done except for the frame, which I gotta finish. I added some more little cherry blossoms. What do y'all think? From the back, it looks good. From the back, it looks good. Yeah, I'm still finding these. How ones. many of the transfers did I use? I used about a page and a half out of four pages. So of the cherry blossoms, I still have all of these. All of this, all of this, these, all of this, and one more bird. 
feel that's like all I, I used. Something up in here. So I still have a ton of cherry blossom left. I could definitely do another. I mean, I've got this whole page left to do another big cherry blossom thing. Plus the black and white. I'm debating about do I want to add cherry blossom somewhere just oh. to have a pop of pink. I mean, let me leave them out for you. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So oh. there's for sure definitely stuff left. I'm going to get the wax. So all of those are all pretty flowers over there. <coughs> all right. I definitely need something up here. Do I want to stick with the black and white? Do I want to do... I mean, you could do like a cherry blossom stem across it or something if you wanted. Because I even have these little guys. I could put a zinnia in there. Can you hand me a shot? Maybe. Maybe I can. Could be a skill. Or would it just be weird to throw a pop of color in there? People, help me out. Um... Are you doing any resin molds? Most, uh, I'm not today, but I love doing resin molds. I'll tell you, once she finds a resin she likes, she will be doing some you resin molds. You will see molds. me doing it all the time. <laughs> I like the amazing casting resin, 10 minute resin pretty well. I just don't like their deep cast resin very much. The what? Their, their deeper casting resin. Oh, okay. Um, I did a a project about a year or so ago with this is a wax brush today um about a year ago i did like an ocean like an ocean scene and i personally felt that it yellowed a little over the year And That's the problem with a lot of the resins is they do get that, that tarnish color rather quickly. And it said not yellowing, but I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, I threw it away when we moved. I had it hanging in the kitchen of the old house, and I threw it away when we moved because I was unhappy with, like, how it had aged. And... You know, I don't, I don't want to sell that kind of product to my customers. The 10 minute is fine because you're going to, well, and my, like my trinket dishes where I didn't really have any clear, where it was really all like either mixed with sand or, or the, or the, um, the paint, those were fine. Those I never saw any yellowing in because there really wasn't any clear. But if the clear is going to yellow, I'm not okay with that. I don't really want to sell that, um, especially because it says non-yellowing. And, you know, if you do a project, especially if somebody's doing, like, a custom project or something for someone, I don't want the resin to... You don't want somebody to be unhappy a year from now. Exactly. Like, if, if I hadn't done that... Piece, you know, if it hadn't, if I had paid for that piece, I probably would be grumpy about it. Yellowing after a year. I mean, I did it for myself because I was like learning and practicing, but but I would like to be able to teach classes on how to do that because it is fun and it is easy. Um, to do. And there's a lot of trepidation with the with resins. There's so, my, yeah, my so many. My sister and I are going through this because we got a, a tabletop she wants to finish for her her RV. And I got her all the resin, and then and then we're like looking at it, going, "All right, now what?" And people get nervous about it, so I would love to have classes on it. So it's definitely a product I want to carry, but I don't want to carry one that yellows like that. So, but I haven't found so far. I haven't found one. Where, like, there's some that I really love the casting, but I don't love, like, either they don't have a 10-minute resin or I don't love that, you know, another product in it. So I'm really looking for the one where I like their whole line. Their whole line. 
Yeah, why are you being stubborn? Come on over there. Also, there's several that will let us, like, I do like most of their line, but they won't let, allow us to sell online. Yeah, that's just not right. And I'm like, well, but I use it in my YouTube videos, and part of the reason I use it in my YouTube videos is because I want people to be able to go to use the product and buy the product. You know, they don't give you like an affiliate code where, you know, you could drop your affiliate code and earn, you know, like Amazon or whatever. So that's kind of a little annoying. Okay. So for those who haven't used DIY paint yet, um, you'll notice that the color was very different before I waxed it and after I waxed it. When it's wet and when it's dry. And when it's wet and when it's dry. Um, there is a little bit of a freak out factor. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Trust the process. And as I'm waxing, I'm kind of pushing really hard. So I didn't distress this yet. Um, but I've kind of almost wet, like almost wet distressed it by how hard I've been pushing as That's I've been wiping right there. off the wax. And now I want to add little bits of gold. Funky gold patina ball ball. Oh, interesting, um, flew the coop. I am curious. She says she has horrible reactions to resin. She had to have steroid shots Whoa. to get her body to heal. I'm curious if it's because of a specific kind of resin or... All resins in general? Or if it's all resins. Because, like, there are some Novak resins. So I'm curious if it's... If it's an allergy to something or I'm kind of basically going to dry brush a little bit here. I'm using a really small brush because I don't want to get it carried away. Uh, I just want some of the sheen because I feel like with the cherry blossoms and stuff that a little bit of this gold will really. And also because I'm doing it over the wax, it's going to set differently because really you're supposed to use it before wax. Um, but the wax will repel it slightly. And it'll be fine once it dries, but it's, I'm gonna say a little off brand use. <laughs> off la off label, it's off label do. usage. It's not what the instructions tell you. It is off label usage. Going rogue over there. I am, that's me, I'm going rogue. Oh, and Elaine, because I think you're one of the people who keeps asking um, because of your son, we finally finished Supernatural. <laughs> we did. We finally got to the, fi the final, final one. I liked it. I'm unhappy. They should have cut it the episode before then. Like, they shouldn't have had the last episode. They should have ended the episode before the last episode in my opinion. Fans would not allow it. I think it was a great ending that from right there. And then you can figure out what, how you wanted it to end. But I won't talk about it for those of you who haven't seen it. If you haven't watched Supernatural, come on, man. It's a fun show. It really is a fun show. Um, I have cats named Sam and Dean Winchester. Yes, I am that freak. My husband used to make fun of me for watching that show. And then we got him watching it. And then, and then as we were sitting down ready to watch the last season, he was like, well, why don't we watch the last season together? Last season, if you don't know, is the 15th season. And there's generally 20... 20 episodes ish a season so then we started over season one season one episode one and then as we got to the last two seasons he became like me where i'm like no i don't want to watch it i don't like it took me like a year after it ended to be able to watch the last season to be okay watching the last season and then he wanted 
watch the last season with us. So then it took us like they were killing like me, like eight months or more longer. Killing me. It's like I'm just not ready for them to go away. I love them in my life. Uh, mostly the two part resin. The company say they are no vock, but it creates a vock when you mix the two parts. Yeah, so it does to me depend on the brand, and that's one of the things that I'm looking at. So I mean, I can't, I can't say, but like, um, like counterculture resin is one that I'm looking at. That is a better art resin. Um, they're one of the ones, however, that won't allow us to sell online. But we might be able to buy a distributorship and sell it online as a distributor. Is that making sense there? But I want to be sure I like all of their products before I'm willing to make that kind of financial commitment. I feel commitment. like color or something. I mean, I think the black and white is really cool. I don't even know. But I do need to clean up the edges or something. It's, a little messy. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm calling it done as far Ish. as these things go. Yeah, so you still gotta... I still gotta do the waxing. Waxing and... All that lovely stuff, but man, these sticks are keepers. Those sticks are just I like them. You that. As I throw them around the, the building, I like them. So what kind of weekend plans does everybody have? <sighs> if the dogs would let me, I would sleep in tomorrow. Yeah. But no, the little fat man wants to wake me up first thing in the morning and just cry in my ear for breakfast. The little fat man is her mom's dog that we... Adopted. Inherited. Inherited. <laughs> Sue's big inheritance. My, my inheritance <laughs> is a little fat dog. <laughs> Although he's losing weight. He really is. He's he, lost a lot of weight since he He is absolutely away. losing weight since he moved in. Are we using this brush you said for the wax? Yes. And the wax would be? Here. Um, he is not the kind of dog I would ever personally pick out to... He's a cutie become my friend yeah you say that and then you complain about him literally Not for stop. four hours a night as he lays at your feet and Crying. says oh, 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 oh he's oh, the biggest oh, whiner oh, in the world oh, oh. my mother spoiled him he does not like the fact that i did not spoil him but you gotta understand his nickname used to be sausage roll and he literally had a roll of, of fat right between the shoulder blades going all the way across because my mother would always feed him whatever she was eating. He, he was really fat. Like, he, he could barely walk, He kind I think. of expects that all the time. And it's like, dude, you're not getting no snacks. So at night when we're sitting watching TV or crafting or whatever we're doing at night, he sits at her feet or at my feet or sometimes John's feet. Whoever's going to pay whoever's, attention to him. Whoever's going to pay attention to him. But mostly Sue's feet. And cries. And cries. And cries. And cries. To the point that even the cats are annoyed now. And he doesn't have a different cry for, hey, I need to go out. Or, hey, I think we should play a game. Or, hey, anything. It's just the same whininess. <laughs> So I've tried to get myself in the habit. If he's going to whine like that, I'm getting up and taking his butt outside. But he's finally figured out the dog door. Well, how to get in with the dog door. And he has gone out in the backyard through the dog door. But he refuses to do it when I'm home. But he refuses to do it when she's home. And so, now I didn't know this when we got him. But apparently he had a habit of peeing in the house. He does do that previously and has maintained this habit despite the fact that there is a dog door to use and i thought i had it pegged as to when he is about to go and then he surprises me he does not want me to figure him out so i added some gold accents this is sideways but can you see the gold accents with the DIY's Golden Ticket Liquid Patina? Twicket. It's a Twicket. I think it looks really pretty. 
And I did just add a little bit, just sort of dry brushed a little over this, this medallion transfer, soften up the red a little bit and make it a little zhuzhed. Zhuzh it up. Zhuzh. I'm thinking I might add a little bit of this bird too. Just, just like a little tiny bit. Cause it already kind of has like water um, color stroke through it. So just add a little bit, of, a little bit of watercolor gold on him. I mean, you can do that in the flowers too, if you want. What do you think? Well, that's very interesting. I think it's pretty nice. I like it. Light's coming out along. I mean, you can definitely see the difference in the color with that. Definitely. Add a little wax on there. Moisten that back up. It's pretty good. <laughs> Elaine says he's so precious. <laughs> he's precious. Uh, Flo the Cook, thank you. I'm glad you like the gold. I appreciate that. Um, Elaine is going to be working on craft fair projects. Yay! Uh, Wendy was thinking about signing up for the fancy flea that we did. Um, you are lucky you did not. And I will say, after their Instagram post, I have a lot of really not nice things to say. But I will not. I will refrain. But, I don't know. But if you want to go look up Fancy Flea Lakeland's Instagram post and look for the one with the little girl fishing or swimming and read that and all of the comments then you'll understand I for sure will not be doing any fancy, fancy flea uh, craft shows. I must have missed that, I don't know. Um, yeah. All right. Hi, Lori, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed, you got here. Oh, that's the second battery notification. I, can you get, oh, can you I get that? Oh, I must be getting ready to die. So, um, we probably will be ending here in a moment. Yeah, definitely gonna be ending here in a moment because my, my phone is saying we're ending here in a moment. Well, yeah, the phone is saying we're ending here in a moment. So whether we're done or not, you wanna show with the gray how it looks with the wax? All right, all right. Because the gray, so you're using gravel road and this is a little bit, you know, it was looking a lot lighter and then you add the wax and it changes. Okay. And when it dries, it'll lighten up a little bit more. Yeah, but you can kind of see the lighter sides on the inside where I haven't quite waxed it yet. Yeah, and I'm glad that I left the brown on the back of mine. I think that looks pretty good. It does kind of look neat. I like that. It kind of pops out more light color. I did add some gold on the little birds from the cherry blossom. I don't know if, huh, let me see if I don't know how to show them to you. Because I can't really get over there. And I don't know if you can really see. But he did add a little bit of gold on the birds. Uh -huh. It's really light. But I did. All right. So, so I'm going to have to clean up the glass tomorrow. Everything has been settled. But it's got a good weathered look to it. Yeah, it? I really like the weather look. And I actually really like that you left the side. Yeah. Sort of more natural. So I'll hang D-rings on the back of that. Um, so that it can be hung on the wall. I'm calling it done. She's calling it done. So I guess we're done. We're going to beat the phone dying on us. Well, so that, that was my goal today. That was the goal. Awesome. Um, so thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed. Um, be sure to go to vintagebedesign.com to see all the new Prima releases, the new Dixie Bell transfer releases, which were these. Again, four pages for only $21.95. Amazing. Um, all of our... Clothing and fashion is, um, so jewelry and fashion is buy one, get one free. All the general finishes and bungalow um, 47 are half off. And those are priced as marked on the website. So hopefully you get some good deals. Hopefully. All right. Um, Sue will go over, head over, over there and oh, click off I the button. I just figured it was going to fade us right out. I don't think it works that way. Oh, well. But I'll be Thought. using more of the prod products. Um, as time goes on, I am super excited to get my hands on some and I will have a video drop on Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Of course, that'll be what I'm doing You've tomorrow. You've got a video? I, well, I will have one. Oh, okay, because I haven't I, seen you I, I haven't worked on any DIY projects this week, but I will, except for those Christmas trees. And did you see all these? Are, these also came with my Yeah, so one. she only used, like, one sheet. I used one sheet. And there's four sheets for $21.95. Unbelievable. Oh. Um, Klingons are back in stock. Uh, 
like we have we we have an explosion of things that literally came back in stock the last week or so and we're and we stocked up on them so we are all good so uh um bungalow 47 is 50 percent off uh lynn <coughs> vintagebdesign.com thanks guys have a great weekend bye See you everybody Sunday. What am I hitting? You don't even know. Up in, there's an X up in the right. That's it. There you go. That's, that's I know what yeah, I'm doing. Mm -hmm, yep. Right Bye. there. Bye. Bye.